Welcome to the home that we spent the last few years building in the middle of the woods. Putting these shipping containers together to build the home that you see behind us has been a complicated process, but the real hurdle was in all the little steps and details that needed to be figured out along the way to make this house completely off-grid and self-sufficient to provide us everything that we need on this 10-acre piece of property. From producing our own water to generating our own electricity, heat, even hot water, growing our own food, we have officially laid the foundation so we can live comfortably on this property but now it's time for the fun stuff the interior come along even the metal's hot up here everything's hot up here Take me home. Is the fan helping or is it better up there? I can feel a little bit blowing my leg. Here Ty, I'll pass this up to you. Okay. Do you want to do this wall first? Yeah, we can put that one right on there. Are they too long, Jumpy? No, this one here is a little snug. Do you want more at that size or hold off? I don't know, but that was a... That was a fine ant, I think. Is that what it was or yeah. a hornet? No, it was an ant. The two of you get stung by a hornet up there and I have to come rescue you? Well, what? Oh. I didn't miss it. <laughs> don't squat your hat. I don't have a hat. Don't miss it. There you go. <laughs> Guess we didn't have to build the sauna down there. We could have just came up here. Yeah. It's very, it's hot. Is that Fahrenheit hot or Celsius hot? Right, sure. For now, we'll go with both. Like my actual legs are sweating, Todd. Big day for Tyler. Don't forget to journal this one. Oh, it's on the video. Don't worry. <laughs> do you want me to keep cutting them to that size? Yep. How many do you need? One, two, three more. Three more? Okay. Take me home. Are you just putting one in these ones? No, two. Little spurs there. And that'll hold it there. Never know stuff before. So is that it for up here? That's it. Should have known you'd all be up in the garden. Yeah. We're just well, we were out for a walk and then I noticed that the green beans are doing really well still. So I figured we could do something with them for supper. How was your shower? <laughs> Good. Every oh time. Oh my gosh. Every time Charlie is obsessed with anything that we grow in the garden, he's into. Except weirdly this year, we have quite a few tomatoes still and they're really low on the ground and he hasn't been picking at them. No, that's weird. Very out of character. Yeah, Charlie kind of takes over this and Eddie does the berries. So the blueberries and the strawberries are what Eddie goes for. Yeah. He's got a bit more of a sweet tooth, I guess. Wow, it's so full. Yeah. Look at all of these. Hey, he just went into the bowl and took one. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're silly. Feels so good showering. I, like, today was unbelievable. It's really good that we're lowering that ceiling down. Oh, yeah. It's gonna make a big difference. Yeah, it's gonna allow us to put more insulation in there. Like, originally we were gonna have, like, a cathedral style, like yeah. the four points, but now we're just gonna be flat across the top so we can fit more insulation in there, but also, so that we have a more secure place to put a ceiling fan to push that heat down. Yeah, it's gonna make a huge difference, especially in the winter. The sun is still gonna go in through the tower because there's windows on all sides, so it'll superheat it and then we'll be able to push hey. it down. No. You guys gotta stop. You gotta stop, this is getting just as bad as the tomatoes. <laughs> but I don't know what we were gonna do for supper. Like, What do you think? Something with green beans. Yeah, I don't, I just started picking them. I really had no plan. We'll have to go down and figure out something. Oh, uh, no, I'll make a stir fry. Ooh, that'll be good. That'll be really good. There's cucumber as well. Ooh, that's a big one, actually. Yeah. Look at it. Holy. He's girthy. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a pretty decent crop for not spending too, too much time on it this year. Oddly, like this is the least amount of time we've spent in the garden and sure, not a lot did the best, but the cucumbers, we've never been able to grow them. Mm -hmm. So We kind of just left them alone and let them do their thing. And yeah. um, how many do you want? Mm -hmm. A couple. I've got a few in there. Sorry, I mean, small ones. All right, I think we got enough for supper. You ready, buddy? You guys want to go make some supper? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait for me, guys. I'm talking
what time's everyone getting here? What do you mean? Well, like, a stir fry like that, I figure we're feeding 12. <laughs> I did that on purpose. We have a really busy couple days, so tomorrow and the next day, when we're like, what are we gonna eat for lunch? We have lunch ready. Although, I didn't put the tomatoes in. I didn't feel like it would jive. No, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm really iffy on tomatoes. I enjoy them like in a tomato sauce or on a pizza, but- I love tomatoes. If we're at a restaurant and there's a tomato on, like say I order a burger, I'll leave it on because I don't want to be rude, but okay, I feel like in my own home, I can choose whether or not I want tomatoes. What's wrong, love? I'm, you're doing, you're doing a sampler. So what I ended up making, I took the green beans and I sauteed them in soy sauce and a bunch of different spices and they cooked down really, really nice. And then I made a sriracha mayo. Look how good this looks. Meanwhile, I was just watching stupid reels on my phone. No, <laughs> you washed all the vegetables. I did wash those and then I went and sat. sat. <laughs> I'm I'm like full. I don't even need to eat. I've been eating the entire time I've been cooking. Also, I'm sorry, but if your husband can't make this meal, you're missing out. We should show them the garden sometime, like the pumpkins. I did them. when we were up there earlier. I oh, you them. showed them the pumpkins? Mm-hmm. Oh. We were picking all of the like um, tomatoes and all of that, and I went over and I... Oh yeah, there's so many, and what's crazy, all the vines, they're growing everywhere up there, and they're from a pumpkin we left in the garden last year that rotted and grew new pumpkin plants this year just just from that we did not plant pumpkins this year yeah like i think i have found a way to drastically cut down our fall decorating budget i do because decide. we can grow what i'm gonna have a little spice. just a little just a little like i don't want to eat alone well and i don't want to blow completely away no like you're such a skinny mini <laughs> all right we'll see you guys in the morning good night All right, so there's a lot of things that we need to do this morning before we can even get started on spraying. So obviously all of the windows, all the doors, the scaffolding set up inside, everything needs to be protected so the little pieces of foam don't get on it. Plus we've got some plumbing lines that are too close to the walls, some electrical that needs moved around. Once the spray foam is in, we won't be able to make any modifications, so it's pretty important. Yeah, it's kind of nerve wracking. It's been like four years of planning and design and like being able to change things, but that all stops today. Yeah. So. It is a little nerve wracking. Yeah. Shit or get off the pot, as they say. Yeah. Who shits in a pot though? I don't quite understand that one. That probably came from the generation. Did you guys just shit in a pot? Yeah. Not your shit in a pot. Not the one you cook in though, right? <laughs> no, no. Remind me not to eat not, it. Not at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go up there and do that. so we can get that done so we're over the way. By the time he's back, I'm going to have this all done. Hello. Oh, I thought you had to run far for one. Sorry, Dumpy. <laughs> I heard you. I didn't know there was a second drill here. Imagine if I had given you that. You'd be bitching and moaning. Look at this. Biggest drill, biggest battery. Well, that's, that's all we got here. Mm-hmm. I think we gotta cut that. It's like a longer run. Oh, no, it's connected of, right here. Bunch of pieces tied into it. Like, yeah. I think if we cut it, I think that's the best bet. Just like that, the attic is ready to spray foam. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? Good. Which line is it you got to be moving? Uh, I'll come down and show you. So even though we've already passed our plumbing inspection, we are gonna make a slight modification before we get all the spray foam in the walls. So as you can see right here, this is going to be the shower for our bedroom. So the lines right now, they're pretty far back in the cavity and given the climate that we live in, we wanna make sure that they're as close to the heated section of the building and not close to the outside because you can imagine in January, say, if it's minus 30 outside, all of that cold air is going to be pressing right against the metal, and we have a risk of these lines freezing. So by moving them as close to the drywall as possible, it will hopefully reduce, reduce that risk, if that makes sense. So Dave is just getting here now. You might remember him from our previous videos. He helped with all of the plumbing with the dome and everything that we've got done in here so far. So we're going to get this fixed up real quick. Still good air. That's good. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, you air tested that. Yeah. 
yeah, people were saying, like, we need to make sure we put water in the lines before. And I was like, I don't think that people do that anymore. But that makes yeah, sense that you did air. Water. Yeah. Especially not if it's going to be not heated before winter. Yeah. That was super quick. Oh, yeah. There ain't no destiny when I got pulled up. Today had so many moving parts, I'm not gonna lie. It felt a little overwhelming, but we finally got it done and I just cannot wait for installation to start tomorrow. It's gonna be so exciting to just be moving forward and see that space come together. I can't wait. I also can't wait to get electricity over there. So if you remember when we finally finished the dome and got power. Yeah, I think I just kind of need to like take it in. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is this cool? That's the only place on the property right now that actually has power because it's the only finished space. The workshop's not done, the house is not done, and until it is, we do have a really good solution for that, and I almost left it outside. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, I'm sure you've noticed these in the background. They charge our tools, they keep us powered, but we've been using these for years all the way back to when we were living and traveling full-time in the RV. This was so convenient for camping. Dumpy and his wife actually borrow this most weekends. Whenever they go camping, if they're going to a music festival, this keeps their trailer powered while they're away. They can power their CPAP machine, make toast in the morning. It's just so convenient. Rather than just plugging the tool batteries into the Jackery, I also set up these solar panels. So not only are the tool batteries fully charged and ready to go for tomorrow's project, but the Jackery is still at 100%. But honestly, the true power of Jackery is in the home standby mode. We have this set up at the lake, so if we ever lose power, it instantly will kick back on and power the circuits that we want to stay on. So our fridge, our internet, our home security, those are super important to us that we don't lose power for obvious reasons. And Jackery does that. With storms becoming more and more common and power outages being the new norm, making sure that you have a plan for electricity is so important. And who wants to wait in those long lines for gas in the event of an emergency to power a traditional generator? Why not have a solar generator? Especially because in this standby mode, this Jackery will keep its power at 50% for two years. I don't mean this to sound like an ad or to be super salesy. However, it's a product Todd and I just believe in so much. And now we're gonna be toasty warm all night long. Plus, if you use the code that I'm gonna put down below or scan the QR code, you will get an extra 5% and it's prime week. You'll get incredible savings. So make sure you check it out. I, I genuinely do think it's worth it. It's unbelievable technology, but I'm gonna pop this stuff inside because I don't wanna leave it out overnight, but I'm gonna put it back out again in the morning for more solar. Red eyes and bromance with plants we don't know yet, people. Hi, squirrel. She's something else, eh? She doesn't like it when we're out here and she's in there, but. She can't be out here. Not at night. So she's allowed out. So at the lake, she's not allowed out at all because there's eagles and like thing predator birds that would eat her. But here it's pretty safe. Except up there, all the owls. Yeah, Ollie, that's Ollie. He's been here for years and he actually has a friend. So Ollie's over there and we got to come up with a name for the one over there. But they talk throughout the night. You'll hear them like, hoo 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 hoo. And then over here it's like, hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> just, you know what? Like, I, I I actually couldn't tell you apart from Ollie just then. Uh, I didn't want to say anything, but I've been practicing. She's in the door now. You get your ass back in here, baby. You know how this pisses me off when you're out there. Good morning. The spray foamers got here bright and early and they're getting started over there, which is really exciting. But the downside of it, they're started. What's that? Yeah. But we can't be in the house while they're doing it because the fumes are, you know, hazardous. That's why they have to wear a full face breathing apparatus and in a suit. So Todd has been planning. <laughs> yeah. Well, this project has been in the works for like two and a half years and mm -hmm. I'm just really excited to get back to work on it and hopefully finish it. Yeah, they figure that the insulating for the house is gonna take two weeks and Todd was like, well, we're not gonna sit around and do nothing because we don't just, do that. That would just be crazy. Ironically, it is still interior work, I guess. Yeah, which is kind of exciting because I guess it's gonna get us all ready to do the inside of the house, but. Yeah, I got your coffee ready. <sighs> Let's 
head up and pull it. Where do we start? We're <laughs> tripping over stuff here. Holy. And just like that, the building is as cleaned out as it's gonna be. So we've got everything pushed against the walls right now. I think what we're gonna do is maybe move everything into the center and then we can start tackling everything. I think that's the plan. But first, the building is very unlevel. Right there, we are 23 and a quarter. So we're down four inches. Wow. We noticed because we put a piece of tape on the floor and it just rolled all the way back there. So we need to jack the building and level it up because there's literally no point in finishing it because if we do, everything will just crack and shift. So let's figure it out. Gonna lift a building. Ooh. I feel like I'm doing one of those 1980s exercise. Like, hey, hey. Okay. Good. Good thing you told me to stop. I was just gonna keep going. I was having fun. Do you want me to cut a bunch more of these up? Yeah, we're gonna need some more. Is that the size you want? Yeah, just like, I'd say, yeah, something like that. Okay. Work. I'm my sanity. I'm heading straight for catastrophe. I keep on hearing this melody. Well, it didn't collapse, so that's a plus thing. Yeah. Getting to weeding it. Might as well. Two birds, one stone. If it's measuring more. That means that size high. Yeah. We took that the wrong way. Yeah. We did? Yeah. <laughs> well I just help, I helped you. I'll take I'll take partial blame. This has been a few hours of putting one side up a little bit, the other side up a little bit. It's um really tricky to get it exact, also because the building is not super level. So if you remember, we got this building in like the height of the pandemic, which workmanship and quality, like they were just trying to pump these out as fast as possible. This was a prefabricated building. You kind of get what you get in that sense. Um, if we had our time back, actually, I don't want to say that I regret it because it has been amazing for storage, but now our skills, like we just feel so much more confident and like we could build something like this ourselves now. But anyway, years ago we couldn't. I was just gonna be hard on myself and I really shouldn't because we've learned so many skills the last few years, so. How's it going? Good, I got one of these to try, but I'm nervous at the door height. Um, I'm curious, um, do you regret getting this building? Yes. Do you wish you had built it yourself? Yes. That's what I was just telling them, but then when I realized years ago, we didn't have the skills to do this. True, and we needed a building years ago. Yeah. I think this whole wind has to come up some more yet. Ugh. Maybe what we'll do is bring uh, that corner up just a little bit more while the jack's there. And we'll shim this side. Okay. And then we'll move to that corner and bring it up. And do this side. Do and see what happens. Sounds like fun. So obviously, as you can see, it is a beautiful sunny day. We're all out here working in the heat. And I was like, where's Squirrel? Look. Did you figure out where the shade is? Hey? You are such a beautiful girl. Yes, you are. It's so nice here that we're able to actually bring her outside with us, where at the lake, it's just the risk of the eagles is way too high. Meanwhile, Charlie and Eddie are out relaxing in the sun. They didn't get that memo. That's pretty close there now. Close enough construction strikes close again. Enough construction, just within an eighth. Love it. Before you f*** it up again. Yeah. <laughs> That's Is the door closed now? Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you want me to try closing that? Sure. I'll be glad to pop. Well, that's a good sign. All right, so we're within a quarter of an inch. Compared to the four inches that it was out, pretty bang on level for us. So I think we're good. Look at over there in that corner though, how much it's built up with blocking. It's crazy that it was just like, basically like this for the last few years. Extra step for sure, but better to do it right. So we have the insulated subfloor under here. The plan was to tile this section and to do the insulation as well. But this won't fit. It's more so the door. The thing. door. Also, I'm noticing because we were out of line for so long, we've got a gap there. We'll have to. We could put that stuff in though. Yeah. So we could raise it that. 
can do it half inch, maybe a little bit more. So should we do the walls first or the roof? So you got this stuff for the walls and that stuff up there for the roof? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to sturdy that up? How could we now that it's built? <clears throat> well, we could take this plywood off and put a two by six in here. Way brighter. Might be nice up there actually, put a little bed. There, you got a spot to spend the night dumping? Oh, perfect. It's heated in here? Yeah, there you go. That way you don't have to worry about I'd rather have my bed a little closer to the floor though. <laughs> That hurts when you fall out of here in the middle of the night. We'll turn back all that for you. Plus, we know you tend to fall out of things when you're drinking. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> we have the three sheets of that um, subfloor stuff. Yeah. Good thinking. How thick is it? I don't know. You're the one who told us to order it. That'd be good chin up ours, too. <laughs> you think it'll be stronger? Oh, yeah. Like that's gonna be sturdy. I can put a lot of heavy decorations up there. Get up and move it. Move it. Oh, yeah. I guess I can't really help myself. Now it's time for ceiling. Time for ceiling. <laughs> like God, I thought we'd be like done a wall by now at least. I'm sure they thought we'd be done the building. <laughs> What do yeah, you think? They've been around a while. They know this is going to take a bit. Yeah. Don't be slow, but what can you do? Well, it's dirty when it's free. Stop the magic, cause you know. It's time to get up and move it. He had me the board, but I thought he was going to hit me in the face with it, so I just like jumped. <laughs> well, that's good. That's done. Can we finally start some wall boards now? You just want to get it all done one day? I thought we'd have it all done. How sturdy does it seem? Pretty sturdy. Oh, well, it's right through. <laughs> Let's start back here, maybe. Like get that wall done, then work this wall. Yeah. I just don't think anyone's in the mood to figure out the angles on the roof. Having two such major projects going on at the same time, you would think would be a little bit overwhelming, but it's actually just so invigorating. It's been a few days since we picked you up, but we wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a reveal and an update. What do you think, Squirrel? Drywall's here, so this is the next step upstairs. But Squirrel was doing a little inventory for us, weren't you? Making sure everything's here. This much insulation has made such a huge difference. Yeah. Before we were getting like hot flashes in the afternoon and then cold sweats in the night, but now the temperature is just stable, which is crazy. Well, it makes sense. Like we filled these cavities with insulation. So we actually went double what the code requirement is. So we have R45 in the walls. It's gonna make a huge difference. Yeah, also we wanna give a huge shout out to the crew from Trinity. They have been so amazing to work with through yeah. this project. Obviously, this is not your typical build and there's unique situations that come up in this house, but they've been working through them with us. What's also cool is all the camera shots that were moving around because we couldn't be in the house. They were actually moving the cameras for us because they just wanted you all to see how this process works. Yeah, even though the cameras are covered in spray foam, <laughs> it is really, really cool that we could actually see the time lapses of all of this taking shape. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really blown away with it all. Yeah, do you wanna see the bedroom too? Yeah, if we should show them. Because, so the old spray foam was really dark and it was making me nervous that we didn't have enough windows and light in here. Also, we should clarify the reason that there was spray foam on the walls it originally before this layer is we did a base layer of two inches so that it would stay like sort of warm in the winter when we had the wood stoves on mm -hmm. um but now it's going to be a big difference so. yeah so and then in here it's just really bright now and it's making me excited for when we get the paint and the drywall oh hi squirrel 
<laughs> She's in the bathroom. So over here is where our bed will be. It faces east, so we get to wake up with the sunrise. And then we come through a pocket door here, and we'll have all of our clothes storage, a stackable washer and dryer, and then we come through another pocket door to the bathroom where we have the toilet, the vanity, and then, <laughs> she said no photos please, <laughs> and then we have the shower facing west so we get to end the day with the sunset as we scrub the dirt off of our bodies. It is just, it's really, really cool to see this finally coming together. As you know, it's just been so many years in the making and we're, we're there now. Like, this time next week, we could have the whole interior of the workshop finished. We could be moving on to drywall in here. It's just... It feels good. Like, because there were definitely parts along the way where I thought we made huge mistake and we were never going to be able to move past it. But yeah. we've really turned a corner in the last couple of weeks and it's reinvigorating. Like, I feel recharged and just excited to keep going with everything here. Yeah. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> See you Sunday.